What's up guys? Welcome back to Escape Man Watch. I'm your host, Balling Titan, and today we got a new camera angle and we got a donation to the channel. I want to thank Markson88, the eBay store. He sells aftermarket parts for donating this build to the channel to help me pay for the new microphone you are listening to me on right now. We got the PVD triple seal gasket crown. It looks pretty good. I, I like the two seals on the stem and one inside the crown. It's actually super smart design. Look at the case. It's perfect. It's got drilled lugs. We got the gasket inside already. The drilled lugs look amazing. Very well milled. They don't look too big. The holes look perfect. Uh, definitely nice case and uh, yeah the coin edge just as nice has a gasket inside already it's a beautiful slimline uh, coin edge bezel and uh, the case back the case back um, this one looks to be like the crystal times lip has an extra lip for the NH uh, 35 movement yeah with the gray movement holder not the black one that I'm holding right now all right this is not the real black one it's 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 a smaller Seiko 5 black one but we're gonna use this movement as a test movement it's not functional and we got the sapphire crystal beveled edge with blue anti-reflective coating very nice OEM dimensions gloss chapter ring or polished chapter ring no markings and no uh, mark, uh, tooth indentation. So it doesn't matter if it moves. There's no indent. There's no uh, marks on it. Here we got the ceramic bezel insert with loom. Beautiful. These ones look almost exactly like the same ones Mark sells at Long Island Watch. I can't really tell. They look. I think they look exactly the same. Not sure. We've got the click spring and uh, some hand set remastered 300. Now this dial, it's got a little, a little two holes there for the Seiko logo. You got to put the Seiko logo in. Unfortunately, the dial came with a little scratch at the, at the 10 o'clock, and a little ding at the four o'clock. Um, I guess during shipping it got damaged. But there's uh, four teeth, guys. we got to cut off two of them. So I have an old dial. Here it is. From a 013, 20 years old. It's going to show us which teeth we need to keep or which dial feet we need to keep. So we just match it up because we're using a 4 o'clock case. And then we'll know which feet we need to keep. There it is, right there. So the dials come with four feet, so you can use it with a three o'clock case or, or a four o'clock case. Very versatile, very nice. Looks like we're gonna cut out the bottom and top. All right, guys, put in the chapter ring. Again, no tooth, so it doesn't have to lock into place. It just sits on that lip, but you can push down right here just a little bit. Make sure it's sitting. There we go, it's sitting very nice. All right, guys. Take away some dust from the, the chapter, I mean, sorry, the crystal. And now we're gonna lay in the crystal with some even pressure, trying to get it flat. Okay. Let's press it in. Now, when you press it in, just let a light touch. Don't put any pressure. Light touch. And then you'll see if the crystal is straight. And we have to check if we have a level crystal before pr putting any pressure. Looks perfect. Maybe. Mm, yeah. So we are going to press in now. 
very slowly and gently. Now guys, when you press in the crystal, you, you should remember that on a new gasket, it's going to slightly eject the crystal out. So 30 minutes later, come back and push it in again. Like reseed it again. That's just a precaution, something I learned with experience. <clears throat> All right, so there, the crystal's in, and it looks pretty good. Yep. Now, we're going to take the dial feet off. Just use these pliers real gently, no pulling, no tugging. Just bite it, and it just comes off. Spin it off right there. Now, the bottom tooth, we're going to do the same thing. Bite it, and no pulling, no twisting, gently. Guys, even if you need to turn it a thousand times, take your time and turn it slowly. And eventually, it will just fall off. So we took out the, the most top and the most bottom uh, dial feet. So that's something you need to remember. Now the Seiko logo, we just we just grab it with our uh, brass Dupont tweezers, line up those teeth, and then hold it with your thumb, press it in, there, it's in. Now, <clears throat> we need to get something to hold it while we glue in the back side. Okay, so we're gonna get some painter's tape, or no, no, it's not painter's tape, automotive tape doesn't damage paint very light application you don't have to push it hard and now we'll put some contact GS hypo cement on those two dots in the back and hope they seep in we're gonna spread it out after okay guys crown we're gonna cut the crown and stem to about 13 and a half we cut it to 14 here but we're gonna sand it down, guys. We just put it in a pince or a vise, a pin vise. I don't know why I, call, I said pince. <laughs> we put it in a in a vise, uh, pin vise, and we get some sandpaper, and we gotta smooth that edge because when you cut it, like how I cut it, it's uh, gonna have a sharp edge, and it might not go into your uh, crown good. So get the sandpaper. And we want to make even pressure strokes to to get get an even sand on it. And I like to make a figure eight, get pressure on all angles. Once we're done, we're going to do a test fit, and we check if it fits in the movement. Make sure when you're screwing it down, or not screwing it down, when you're winding it, there it's locked. It works. Now when we wind it. If it starts to screw down, then you cut too much and you need a new stem. So it's better to cut too little and then sand it slowly and keep trying. Okay guys, now we put a little drop of 242 blue Loctite and we, once we have the correct uh, length of stem and we screw it in. Now if you sanded it perfectly, it's gonna take about six or seven turns to go in. If you sanded it with a sharp edge, you're only gonna get like one or two turns and it's gonna feel like it locked in, which is wrong. So we wipe off the access blue Loctite, put on the crystal, I mean, sorry, the case back gasket and just close it, uh, close the case back. It is gonna dry. The case back, we're gonna put silicone grease later. We're just doing test fits the case back sticker is still on. We'll just ah, we'll just leave it on. And there, that's just a test dial, guys. We're not gonna. That's not the real dial. It's just while the Seiko logo dries, we got the sapphire, the chapter ring, the crown is done, the case back is done. Now we need to do the bezel. It's very simple, guys. You just line up the two teeth into the case like that. Boom. You can put silicone grease if you want. On the, on the edges, on the little uh, click spring, if you want. 
and then you can lubricate that gasket if it looks dry to you and just line it up with the case and press it down with the we got a cheap crystal press here the blue one and we just use it for bezel duty and we're just gonna click in that bezel nice and even pressure boom there we go it's in <laughs> it kinda got stuck there so now it's good we're gonna clean this all up eventually once it's all done once we turn it you guys you gotta work in that silicone grease it's gonna turn not that great at the beginning but then it will start to smooth out if, if it's if it's the right gasket size all right guys that's the completed build here's a photo it is cleaned up ready to go waiting for the movement beautiful parts again a big thank you to markson 88 for the donation to the channel now i'm going to put his ebay store link in the description if you guys want parts like these they are amazing and Please like, share, and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Just to get the, the bezel on, let me just see if this fits. Perfect. So you want a die that goes right where the insert should be. Okay, got these, this blue press, it's a low cost press and it just, I just use it for popping on crystals and bezel inserts. <laughs> it fell apart with the camera, it fell apart, like, it just collapsed, like, the thing that dish, like it failed by itself just sitting there, fucking piece of Piece of shit. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in. That's funny though.